Did you miss us? It's the Bridge School News Network, back in action. Last time, we heard interviews with Jimmy Buffett and Monsters of Folk. Are you wondering who you will see today? Well, let's not wait any longer to find out. Nice. Oh. He has a hat he wants you to wear. All right. Uh, oh, oh. I'll wear it. Oh. <laughs> I hope it ain't itchy. <laughs> you did this to me! <laughs> Anyways, Clay, these questions better make more sense than this hat. <laughs> Hey, Adam, thanks for coming to the concert. Thank it you. is so cool to meet you. Yeah. I have been a big fan of yours ever since I heard your album, What <laughs> happened to me. Really? I have to ask you, how the bleep do you come up with your characters? How do I come up with the characters? First of all, your mother yelled at me for, for teaching you how to curse, I remember now. Uh, but, uh... Do, but that you did that on your own, Clay. Don't blame me on your saying the word. But uh, <laughs> do you have a favorite character or sketch that you do? Well, uh, do I have a favorite character? I, I like laugh so hard I can hardly breathe. <laughs> really? Mr. and Big Daddy are my favorite movies of yours. How do you not totally crack up when you are acting? I always laugh in the middle of making movies, and I ruin the takes. I preferably laugh more when the other guy's talking, so I ruin it for them. You know what I mean? So I get, I maintain focus. I want everyone to look at me, Clay. My pretty face. Clay, you don't, you like this face, right? <laughs> the hypnotist is funny to you? Yeah, there's a lot of that. Kevin Nealon, he's funny in that, man. You're the best, Clay. Funnier than this hat you put on my head, Clay. <laughs> we have an awesome ballpark in San Francisco. Yes. Have you ever been there? Yes. Do you think the Yankees will win the World Series? Yes. And are they the best team money can buy? Yes, I've been to your uh, uh, ballpark. Never in it, but I've been on a rowboat just grabbing balls and in the water. And uh, I, I tend to fall in a lot. You you like you like uh, the Giants, huh? Not the Oakland A's, because the Yankees own them this year. Remember that? Hit me, Clay. So, Adam, what yeah. new projects are you working on? Grown Ups with a bunch of comedians. You're going to like it, I think. I think you're going to like it, buddy. And uh, then I'm playing twins in a movie. Me and a twin sister, and I'm playing my sister. Not very pretty. Uh, Kevin James has a movie coming out that I'm working on about a zookeeper. A lot of work. Got to get you in one of these movies, Clay. Jump it up a notch. All right, Clay. Hey, baby, you're a good man. Thank you. You're the man, buddy. That's a hard act to follow. Let's see what else our Bridge School graduate reporter found out backstage. Can you? Ooh. Talk. About what you do before the show. Can you talk about what you do before the show? Um, I actually do a lot of things. Well, the first thing and most important thing is I get up and I have breakfast with my family. And you've seen them. We all dance together. You see us every year. Uh, we, to me, that's a really important thing is uh, having breakfast with my family before we come to Bridge. Because it's always an honor to come here. And then also we come here and then we get dressed kind of early to associate with you guys to interact and get to know you guys every year because that's what we're here for we're here to interact with you guys and get to know you guys more 
So we love you just as much as the rest of the staff. So that's that's kind of my morning before the show, and then uh, I get ready to go and do my dance on the stage with Neil. <laughs> about the D A N C E talk about the dance uh, the style I actually have on this year is called the Prairie Chicken Dance. It's um, kind of more of a warrior dance uh, with the Midwest, Midwestern tribes. And so, it uh, actually I don't have it on, but it's a small bustle made out of prairie pheasant feathers or eagle, or eagle uh, feathers such as these on my, uh, hanging off my headband right here. And it's a small little bustle that goes on the back. And that's what I danced this year, but normally in the past, I've danced uh, grass. You've seen that. That's with no feathers. And then I also danced fancy, which was with a lot of feathers. So I'm pretty sure as long as we've both been here, you've seen both of them, huh? <laughs> well, did you see the lovely ladies that were with me today? Yes. That is my mother, and that is my cousin. And their name is Denise and Daylin. And they dance... Uh, style called buckskin southern buckskin and so a traditional women's dance that comes from oklahoma areas and different things have you done this all Your life. Have you done this all your life? Yes, I actually have been very fortunate to have a, come grow up in a family household where uh, we like to keep our traditions and our culture alive. So ever since I can remember, um, ever since I could walk, really, I've been dancing. And uh, we've been doing different performances. My whole family dances. Nobody grows up not knowing how to dance or, you know, eventually you learn to make your own outfits. Like I said, it goes along with the importance of having, you know, family values. And that's why I love my family because we all dance. Talk about... What your wearing? Talk about what you're wearing. Okay, what I'm wearing is actually obviously a lot modern, being the bright colors and pink and blue. <laughs> Nowadays, it's a little bit awkward for a man to be wearing pink and purple and blue. But um, uh, I do a style called competition, and it's a uh, powwows, which is a competition with other Native American dancers. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I said, it's a prairie chicken dance is what it's called. I actually made this and designed it myself. Um, I have actually hearts mm -hmm. closer to my heart, obviously, because... You know, that's where your heart is. And it's, uh, I have a flower going on and some, some flowers that come from my tribe in uh, Oneida, which is in Wisconsin. And so that's where my grandmother's from. And then I have a water bird. I don't know if you remember my grandfather. Remember mm -hmm. he used to be here with the, all the feathers, the chief, everybody. Yes. Called. Yes, I knew you did. Mm -hmm. And that's, uh, it's a water bird. And that's what actually he loves. He loves that. So that's why I have that on there for him. Remembrance of him. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <gasps> Great interview.
that good? Oh, thank you so much. Those are wonderful questions. I thought you were gonna give me some hard questions. I thought you were gonna give me what AX plus BY is. No. I thought you were gonna give me some educated graduate answer questions. Please. No. <laughs> that was great. Sorry to say, that's it for now. See you next time. Nicole and Jack over and out. Goodbye. Goodbye.